orb webs are so familiar to us that we tend to forget what complex structures they are. A single one can contain up to 60 meters of silk of up to six different kinds and involve 3,000 separate attachments. And what's more, some orb web spiders spin a different one every night. The biggest and best webs are made in most species by the female. She has to start by bridging the gap across which she's to hang her web. The faintest breeze will catch a filament as she spins it and carry it away into space. With luck, it will catch on a suitable anchor point. There. She runs across the filament, trailing a line of much thicker, stronger silk, and ties it off. Then she goes back to the middle of this line and drops down another. And she tightens it. The junction at the top becomes the hub of the web to which she will attach radiating spokes. These must be particularly strong for the shape of the whole structure depends on them. Once they're complete, she adds a spiral, working from the middle outwards. This first spiral is quite widely spaced, because it's only temporary. It will serve as a scaffolding along which she runs to add a stronger, stickier and more closely spaced spiral. That's this one. As the filament for this emerges from her spinneret, she coats it with glue from separate glands in her abdomen. After completing one section, she eats the scaffolding line. It has no further use, and it saves valuable silk. At first, this glue is evenly spread, but each time she fixes a section, she twangs it with her leg so that it breaks up and forms a line of droplets. She can complete the whole intricate, elegantly symmetrical structure in about an hour. <laughs>